Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 53. This week I'm going to be talking about how you can hook up your own sensors to the camera axe. And as an example, I'll be using this adjustable gain amplified microphone uh, from Adafruit. Uh, this looks like a pretty nice sensor from them and uh, haven't tried it out yet, but I assume it's going to work pretty sweet. And the fact that it's adjustable gain sort of sets it apart from the uh, uh, sound sensor that I currently ship for the camera axe, right? People uh, once in a while want to be able to detect uh, the difference between uh, louder and quieter noises and, and you can do that to some extent but by having an adjustable gain you kind of increase the dynamic uh, range. So the max gain on this sensor is about the same as the sensor I use but uh, being able to go to a smaller gain could be useful when you're trying to differentiate between really loud noises. Uh, a few years ago, a person was uh, photographing the uh, uh, one of the space shuttle launches with the camera axe, and uh, he needed to detect the difference between a helicopter flying overhead and the actual space shuttle launch. So in that case, uh, this adjustable gain would have been useful because everything was very loud and uh, the standard sound sensor for the camera axe was always clipping. He ended up solving that by putting the sound sensor in an enclosure, but uh, this adjustable gain feature would have been nice in that case. Anyways, let's get uh, exploring how you would actually hook up this out of fruit sound sensor to the camera axe. So now we're just going to solder the wires to this sensor find it a little easier to just apply the solder on some of these smaller sensors first and then we're going to solder the wires on. So we just measured that the uh, white wire here is connected to the ring which we want to be connected to the sense wire and that here is called out. So we're good there. Then we measured that the yellow wire is connected to the ground and we want that to be wired to ground on this sensor. Kind of tricky to do this on camera. Um, but it, that looks good enough. And we measured that the red wire is connected to the tip. And we need that to be connected to this VCC pin. And we should be good. Now, normally I'd put some hot glue or something on here to make the connection a little bit solider, maybe wrap it in some tape or shrink wrap. But uh, for this demonstration, that's good enough. We should, at this point, be able to connect it to the camera axe and get some readings. So at this point, I've actually done a little bit of testing with uh, Adafruit's sensor here, and it seems really nice. It... Uh, the adjustable gain is right here, and uh, that seems to, to work as advertised. And the uh, sound signal it's giving to the camera axe seems just as good as the sound sensor that I've been using. And uh, it's a great bargain, right? I mean, this sensor is under $7 at Adafruit, and they have really cheap shipping, at least to the United States. I I got the the shipping on this cost me about 4 bucks and seven bucks for the sensor so that's less than you'd pay for the sound sensor that I ship for the camera axe so it's a great deal for people who want to make their own and uh, at this point I'll just sort of show everyone that it is indeed working so if we go down to this menu uh, the second number there is the uh, sound that it's detecting and you can see that it's fluctuating a little bit up in the 30s and 40s. When I was quiet, it dropped down to 517. So uh, everything's working as expected. And, uh, you know, if I touch the sensor, that's like a really loud noise and it'll go up to 599. So if you wanted to use this with a camera axe to actually trigger a camera that was, or a flash that was plugged into camera uh, sensor port number one. I've got a video that goes into a lot more depth on using the sound sensor, but uh, we'll just quick set something up here. So we'll set the trigger to, let's say, 550 and activate that. 
So now when a loud noise is made, like me talking, it detects it and it tries to trigger the uh, flash or camera that's attached. And if I touch it, it's definitely going to be a loud noise. So that's uh, pretty much how it works. Great sensor made by Autofruit. And, uh, you know, they've got a lot of other sensors there that uh, are things that I don't have uh, standard sensors for. So if you're interested in trying to hook up some new sensors to the camera acts, go and check out their uh, page. And, you know, if the sensor just takes power ground and then outputs an analog signal, like this sensor, it's, you know, trivial to hook them up and use them with the camera acts. Thanks for watching.